What's up everyone, I'm OBG for tastingskills.com. Welcome back to another video. All right, so today we're talking about New Glory Craft Brewery. Now, this was established in 2013. They're located in Sacramento, California. They do have an eatery and they do have a tap house. And of course, they make so many beers. They make close to 225 beers, or that's what I was able to count on their website. Now, as usual, I've put a link to all of that below so you can go and check out everything that they make. All right, now let's cover the technicals of these beers since I was able to get three of them. We're gonna start with the Gummy Worm Chewy Pale Ale. Now, this has an ABV of 5.8%, and this is a dry hot beer with Citra and Amarillo. Then we have the Ubadank West Coast IPA. Now, this has a 7.2 ABV, and the hop selection on this is American Sea and Mosaic. Then we have the Invisible Enemy. This is a West Coast Triple IPA, and this has an ABV of 10.5. Now, when we look at the packaging, I like the packaging. I mean, I'm not like, bang, it's crazy. Like, this is good packaging. And when you look at all of the beers that they make on their website, you can see that it's really consistent. It's really linear. I like the color scheme. I like the names that they've put on there. I would say that this is really good. But what do they actually taste like? Well, before we get to the tasting notes, do you want to taste like a pro? Head over to tastingskills.com, put your name and email into the magical yellow box, and I will send you my free 17-page guide to the fundamentals of tasting. All right, so let's taste this, and let's start with the Gummy Worm Chewy Pale Ale. On the color, we get this light yellow with some nice haziness to it. On the nose, we get some delicate hops that are very aromatic. And this is a very subtle nose. The mouthfeel is layers of fruit like bananas, grapefruit, star fruit that has really good acidity that drives all of this into this delicate finish. This is an absolute drinker. I really love this. At the start, I thought like gummy worms is going to be sweet and just over the top, but it's not. This is just a great pale ale. I'm really impressed with this and actually... I really love this one. This, I think, is by far my favorite out of the three. All right, let's move on to the next one. The Ubudank West Coast IPA has this deep gold color and is less hazy than the previous one. On the nose, you get this explosion of the hops the moment that you open the can. This has an intense hot nose and you get the classic bananas, oranges, tangerine mixed with this zest-like palomino. On the mouthfeel, you get these layers of hop that turn into this lovely fruit like I had previously on the nose. Full of yellow and orange zesty fruit that turn into the acidity that gives you this long, lengthy finish with these dry hops on your tongue. Now, again, I'm impressed. The balance on these are really impressive. All right, let's move on to the next one. The Invisible Enemy West Coast Triple IPA. Right away, you get this deep gold to orange since this is very hoppy. On the nose, you get a lot of hops right out of the gate that are mixed with this intense zest of the orange, tangerine, palomino, grapefruit, and green apples. Mouthfeel, right away you get the attack by the hops of this beer and it's pretty intense, but not out of balance. This eventually turns into layers of fruit. There's hop all at the same time and the acidity is pretty intense. Now this was a little too hoppy for me, but and again, I don't like it super hoppy, but if you're into super hoppy beers, then that's gonna be probably the winner for you. All right, let's do a quick recap. Starting with the Gummy Worm Chewy Pale Ale. Now this is a buy, I really love this beer. This was my favorite out of the three. I mean, they are all well balanced, but this was my favorite. Then we have the Ubadank. This is also a buy. I really did love this. The balance, once again, this is impressive. And finally, the Invisible Enemy. This is also a buy. Even if this isn't my type of IPA, I have to say that I'm impressed with the balance of all of these beers. New Glory Brewery is really doing some serious quality work here. They're not trying to do it over the top, or at least of what I've tasted to now. This is just a great brewery. I recommend that you go and check the links below. And if you are in the Sacramento area, well, you should visit them. And let me know in the comments below what you think about these beers. Otherwise, remember, my friend, please smash that like button. As usual, I'm OBG for tastingskills.com. Now, go down there and subscribe and click the bell. Otherwise, my friend, please remember, stay sober. Peace.